guys! So today I'm going to be doing my long-awaited bookshelf tour and you guys have asked me to do an updated bookshelf tour since the week that I posted my first bookshelf tour about a year ago and obviously things have drastically changed with my bookshelf. It looks completely different. I have so many new books to show you guys. Whole new setup. It's really awesome. Quick things you might be wondering about before I get into the video. One, my bookshelf is organized by last names of authors alphabetically so I felt like that was the most logical way to organize my bookshelf. I know a lot of people do it by like the heights of their books, paperbacks versus hardbacks, uh, rainbow bookshelves, but I just personally really like having all my authors together so I felt like the best way to do that is to just do it by author last name so that is how I've been organizing my books for the last couple of months. As far as how many books I actually have I'm truly not sure I did not really want to count but I think it's somewhere around 250 and in my last bookshelf tour I had about 200 so it doesn't seem like I've acquired that many books since last year but I do have to say that I've gotten rid of so many books from my last bookshelf tour it's ridiculous all of my children's books and stuff like that have all been put down stairs too so those aren't on my shelves anymore because I just didn't have room for them. So I think that's enough blabbing for now so I'm just gonna get on started and show you guys my bookshelf. Okay guys so this is my entire bookshelf and I'm gonna start by going over each and every cubicle and then I'll show you guys what's on top because there's obviously books up there but I'm gonna start with the upper left corner. Boy Crazy by Haley Abbott. Pieces of Me by Kira Adams. The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Ahidin. Love Rosie by Cecilia Ahern. Speak by Laurie Hulse Anderson. Me and Earl and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews. The Islanders Volume 1, Zoe Fools Around and Jake Finds Out by Katherine Applegate and Michael Grant. Reconstruction, First a Body, Then a Life by Era Lucia Ashburn. The Future of Us by Jay Asher and Caroline Mackler. 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. Sinners and Saints by Chelsea Ballinger. The Iron Trial by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare, and this is an ARC copy. Royally Crushed by Nikki Burnham. Love and Other Perishable Items by Lara Buzo. Dash and Lily's Book of Dares by Rachel Kahn and David Levithan. My Favorite Mistake by Chelsea M. Cameron. Sweet Thing by Renee Carlino. Losing It by Cora Carmack. The Selection. The Elite. This is just the dust jacket because my friend is borrowing it right now. The One. The Air, and The Selection Stories, all by Kira Cass. The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky. City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. All I Need, Take Me There. And Something Like Fate, all by Susan Colasanti. If You Stay by Courtney Cole. Used to Be by Eileen Cook. Rule. And Jet by Jay Cronover. 15th Summer and 16th Summer by Michelle Dalton. Bared to You. Reflected in You. Entwined with You. Captivated by You, and Spellbound by Sylvia Day, How to Kill a Rockstar by Tiffany DiBartulo, Something Real by Heather Demetrios, Keeping the Moon, Dreamland, Someone Like You, This Lullaby, Just Listen, The Truth About Forever, and Along for the Ride, all by Sarah Dessen, The Tiger Rising by Kate DiCamillo, Reason to Breathe by Rebecca Donovan, The Running Dream by Wendelin Van Draining, Love Story, Forget You and Going Too Far, all by Jennifer Eccles. Rules of Attraction by Simone Eccles. Better Off Friends by Elizabeth Alberg. The ABCs of Kissing Boys by Tina Ferraro. My Life Next Door and What I Thought Was True, both by Huntley Fitzpatrick. Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. Just One Day by Gail Foreman. Palo Alto by James Franco. The Vincent Boys, Just For Now and While It Lasts, all by Abby Glines. Rumor Has It by Elizabeth Grace. The Lost City of Z by David Graham. The Fault in Our Stars. The Fault in Our Stars movie cover. Looking for Alaska, 10 year anniversary edition. Looking for Alaska. Ker Kondo Alaska. Um, this is Looking for Alaska in Italian. As you can see, I'm a big fan of Looking for Alaska. I've got lots of editions. An Abundance of Catherines. And Paper Towns, all by John Green. Will Grayson Will Grayson by John Green and David Levithan. A Little Something Different by Sandy Hall. Love Always, a sample set of a couple different novels. Sugar by Deirdre Riordan Hall, and this is an ARC copy. Why We Broke Up by Daniel Handler. The Summer I Turned Pretty. It's Not Summer Without You, and We'll Always Have Summer. Moving back all the way to the left side of my shelf, I have To All the Boys I've Loved Before, and P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han. Burn for Burn. Fire with Fire, Ashes to Ashes, all by Jenny Han and Sabayan Vivian, A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness, OCD Love Story by Corey Ann Haydu, Love and Profanity edited by Nick Healy, 
The Outsiders, and That Was Then, This Is Now, both by S.E. Hinton, Crank by Ellen Hopkins, Slammed, Point of Retreat, This Girl, Hopeless, Losing Hope, Finding Cinderella, Maybe Someday, Ugly Love, and I've got two copies of Confess, and all of those books are by Colleen Hoover. Come to Me Quietly by A.L. Jackson, and this is an ARC copy. Grey, Fifty Shades of Grey, Fifty Shades Darker, and Fifty Shades Freed, all by E.L. James. If I Were You by Lisa Renee Jones. Maybe One Day by Melissa Cantor. The Evolution of Calpurnia Tate by Jacqueline Kelly. When Hitler Stole Pink Rabbit by Judith Kerr. Shut Out and The Duff, both by Cody Couplinger. Everybody Sees the Ants by A.S. King. Things We Know by Heart by Jesse Kirby. Beautiful Bastard by Christina Lauren. All of You by Christina Lee. Party by Tom Levine. Every Day by David Levithan. We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. The Giver by Lois Lowry. Dating Down by Stephanie Lyons. Tease by Amanda Maciel. Shatter Me, Unravel Me, Ignite Me, and Unite Me, all by Tahara Mafi. A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. Since You've Been Gone, and Amy and Roger's Epic Detour, both by Morgan Matson. Taking Chances, and From Ashes, both by Molly McAdams. Cut by Patricia McCormick. Nowhere But Here, and Pushing the Limits, both by Katie McGarry, Beautiful Disaster, Walking Disaster, Beautiful Oblivion, Beautiful Redemption, and A Beautiful Wedding, all by Jamie McGuire, The Haunting of Sunshine Girl by Paige McKenzie, Marie's World by Joe Legend, Everything That Makes You by Mariah McStay, From a Distant Star by Karen McQuestion, Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse with a Missing Dusk Jacket, and Breaking Dawn with No Dusk Jacket, and those are all by Stephanie Meyer. Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. Lolita by Vladimir Nobokov. Mint Juleps and Justice by Nancy Nagel. The Rest of Us Just Live Here, and this is an art copy. And The Knife of Never Letting Go, both by Patrick Ness. My Life with the Walter Boys by Ali Novak. Country Girl by Edna O'Brien. Fixing Delilah by Sarah Ockler. Now on the last row, all the way at the left, we have Vanishing Girls, Panic, Two copies of Before I Fall, Delirium, Pandemonium, Requiem, and Delirium Stories, and all of those books are by Lauren Oliver. Wonder, and 365 Days of Wonder, both by RJ Palacio. Choke by Chuck Palahniuk. My First Love and Other Disasters by Francine Pascal. Ignite, and Volition, both by Lily Paradis. Anna and the French Kiss, Lola and the Boy Next Door, and Isla and the Happily Ever After, all three by Stephanie Perkins. My True Love Gave to Me, 12 Holiday Stories, and this is edited by Stephanie Perkins. Between the Lines by Jody Picoult and Samantha Van Leer. The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. Trouble by Non Pratt. Unteachable by Leah Radar. The Edge of Never and The Edge of Always, both by J.A. Redmersky. Gabriel's Inferno and Gabriel's Rapture, both by Sylvain Renard. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. First There Was Forever by Juliana Romano, Landline, Attachments, Eleanor and Park, and Fangirl, all by Rainbow Rowell, The Impact of You by Kendall Ryan, Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Alir Sainis, The Unwritten Rule, and As I Wake, this one is an arc, and they are both by Elizabeth Scott, Schizo by Nick Sheff, the Bronze Horseman by Paulina Simons. Fisher's Light by Tara Civic. The Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight. And This is What Happy Looks Like, both by Jennifer E. Smith. Anatomy of a Single Girl by Daria Snaudovsky. Title by Emily Snow. The Coincidence of Callie and Caden. And The Redemption of Callie and Caden, both by Jessica Sorensen. The Dirt Diary by Anna Staniskiewicz. <laughs> and this is an ARC copy. Snapshot by Angie Stanton. Forbidden by Tabitha Suzuma, After, After We Collided, After We Fell, and After Ever Happy, all by Anna Todd. My Best Everything by Sarah Tomp, and this is an ARC copy. Empty and Cracked by K.M. Walton. My Heart in Other Black Holes by Jasmine Wonga. The Fill-In Boyfriend by Cassie West. Tutored by Allison Wittenberg. Easy and Breakable, both by Tamara Weber. Uglies by Scott Westerfeld. Elsewhere by Gabrielle Zevin, and The Book Thief by Marcus Zuzak. And then also in this little cubicle here, I have three boxes that have keepsake items in them, and then a couple magazines. 
So now that I have gone over everything in the cubicles of my bookshelf, I just want to quickly go over what is on top because obviously there is some books, but there's also other things that I'm going to share with you. First thing is this little picture right here of me and two of my friends. And then right there next to it we have my booktube journal, my Lana Del Rey lyric book, my concert ticket stub diary, and a couple little things in there. And then we have this stack of books, which I'm not going to show you the covers just because that's too difficult, but I have Bobby Brown Beauty Rules, This Star Won't Go Out by Esther Earle, Hellfire Lounge by R. Ellen Leader, Who We Are and Dare to Dream, both One Direction books, um, There's More to Life Than This by Teresa Caputo, My Drunk Kitchen by Hannah Hart, Grace's Guide by Grace Helbig, We Should Hang Out Sometime by Josh Sundquist, Autumn Falls by Bella Thorne, and two copies of I Hate My Selfie by Shane Dawson. Moving along, I have my two graphic novels right here, which is Scott Pilgrim's Precious Little Life Volume 1 and Scott Pilgrim vs. The World Volume 2, and these are both by Brian Lee O'Malley. Also here in front, I just have this ruler that has all the first ladies of the United States on it, which I thought was cool, so I keep it there. And then next to here, I have Find It in Everything, photographs by Drew Barrymore, and this is just a bunch of photographs that Drew took of hearts, and it's signed, and I love her, so I have that there. Here I have a couple other books. I have a Bible. I have Four Perfect Pebbles by Leah Pearl, um, Unbroken by Laura Hillenbrand, Orange is the New Black by Piper Kerman, The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks by Rebecca Scoot, The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg, The Collected Poems of Sylvia Plath, Where the Sidewalk Ends by Shel Silverstein, I Wrote This For You by Please Find This, As Often As Miracles by Clementine Von Radix, Unexplained Zodiac by Sarah Fenton, and 14,000 Things to Be Happy About by Barbara Ann Kipper. And then next to that stack of books here is my mother's senior picture from high school, which I just really love, and I think she looks beautiful, so I have that on my bookshelf. And then behind there is a bunch of candles. Okay, and then under that you can see I have like this little dish that I think is an ashtray actually, but it just has like bobby pins and random stuff in it. And then right next to the candles I have my little Halsey shrine, which if you don't know who Halsey is, she is a singer-songwriter, she makes like alternative pop music, and she's really awesome. To put it in the simplest terms, Halsey is actually kind of like a family friend to me so I have this little shrine dedicated to her because she just means so much to me I have her EP here a ticket from one of her concerts I went to her signed EP that she gave me for my birthday um, this little thing of her tattoos and then that's a picture of us but yeah I absolutely love her and she's just really important to me and I love her so much and I just have this little thing dedicated to her because I love her and then under that I have this little shell that I painted and then next to it I have my signed Breakfast Club poster signed by Anthony Michael Hall and then down there I just have these two trays that have jewelry on them and then above it I have this little picture book called Lara's Star by Klaus Baumgart and that was my favorite book when I was little because obviously Laura is my name, so I absolutely loved that. And then next to that, I have two signed pictures by Daniel Fischel and Carrie Elves, so that's pretty cool. And then above that, if you're wondering, I have a New York map, a Melanie Martinez poster, and a Fault in Our Stars poster. And then over here in this last section of my bookshelf, I have this little scarf that I got from a subscription service box, but it's from The Wrath and the Dawn, an OK OK necklace, a Call Me Ishmael mug with some little cards in it. If you don't know who Call Me Ishmael is, he's a YouTuber, and I'll be collabing with him pretty soon, so watch out for a video on him. I have a pair of glasses that are mine. That is a picture of me and my brother when we were little. Look at our dinosaur computer. <laughs> um, and then over here, I have my signed Khloe Kardashian book plate that I got when I met her, um, an angelic power tattoo thing a Boston snow globe because I'm from Boston this little thing that has a bunch of bookmarks in it and then a reading light and then my book con ticket hangs off of that if you can't see it and that's my guitar her name's Lolita and yeah so there's just a bunch of like there's just a bunch of pins on here that I'm not really gonna go through because who cares and then all these books right here are my classics so I have The Awakening by Kate Chopin um, Tess of the Dubervilles by Thomas Hardy Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen the Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald, Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte, The Crucible by Arthur Miller, The Scarlet Letter by Nathan Hawthorne, To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee, Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain, and Slaughterhouse Five by Kurt Vonnegut. And then back there is just my Bose speaker. So yeah, again, here is just a full overview of my shelves, just to see from the distance again what everything looks like as one. And I really like how my bookshelves look. They might look kind of like a big jumbled clutter of things to some people, but I really like it and I think it 
looks like my bookshelf. What my bookshelf would look like is exactly this. So I'm really happy with it and I love how it looks. <sighs> so yes, I hope you guys enjoyed my bookshelf tour. Hope it was an enjoyable video to watch. If you have any questions about anything, make sure you leave it in a comment down below and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you have not already and I will talk to you guys all very, very soon. I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day. Goodbye! than two years ago I didn't even have bookshelves I just had my dresser and on top of my dresser I had piles of books so I want to show you guys this picture that I just recently found this was all of the books that I had less than two years ago and now you see my books and what I have and you can see that obviously I'm gonna go bankrupt because I have no money <laughs> I buy so many books